No life is complete without a visit to the Big Apple, New York City. Start off at a true New York landmark, Times Square, crossroads of the world. At number 10, this hotspot offers up an instant slice of life in the big city. Catch a Broadway show on the Great White Way and make sure you leave plenty of time for the free people watching in one of the world's most dynamic public spaces. For number 9, take the one train north a few stops to the beautiful Lincoln Center. This cultural hub, located in Manhattan's Upper West Side, is home to the Metropolitan Opera, the New York Philharmonic, the New York City Ballet, and the Juilliard School, as well as several other resident performing arts companies. Catch a performance from one of the world's top ensembles, or get your picture taken on the steps in front of the Lincoln Center's iconic fountain in Public Plaza. Head just a few blocks east and you'll find our number eight can't miss attraction, Central Park. As one of America's first and foremost major urban public spaces, it receives nearly 35 million annual visitors. Check out the extensive walking trails, bridle paths, two ice skating rinks, the Central Park Zoo, and a wildlife sanctuary. If walking isn't your thing, take a tour of the park in one of the many bike taxis that you can find leaving from Columbus Circle. On the park's east side, along Manhattan's Museum Mile, sits number seven, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Over two million works of art from all periods and cultures are part of the museum's extensive permanent collection. Entry to the museum is a voluntary donation. Head straight down Fifth Avenue to the Empire State Building and take in a view of New York from the city's highest observation deck. At number six, this Art Deco masterpiece, an icon of the New York skyline, is a must-see for any serious tourist. Experience a stunning panorama of the city and beyond from the top of one of the most famous landmarks in the world. Since you're already on Fifth Avenue, take advantage of what no trip to New York is complete without, shopping. Browse the selections at Sox Fifth Avenue, pick up a gift for the kids at FAO Schwartz, or maybe have a little breakfast at Tiffany's. Head down south to Manhattan's fashionable Soho district and try on all the latest styles among the various shops, galleries, and restaurants that dot this buzzing neighborhood. Chinatown, our number four attraction in New York City, is both alluring and unorthodox. Chinatown was already a big tourist attraction for out-of-towners as well as the city's residents in the early 1900s. Today, remnants of the neighborhood's European-American ancestry stand side by side with the more recent inspired Asian landmarks. Grab a table among the many eateries for some of the best Chinese food to be found in the Western Hemisphere. New York's Brooklyn Bridge, just a few steps away from Chinatown, connects Lower Manhattan to the bustling revitalized borough of Brooklyn. At number three, the Brooklyn Bridge, soaring over the East River, is one of New York City's most famous routes, both for tourists and born and bred New Yorkers. Go ahead and walk across, an elevated pedestrian path gives you the opportunity to cross the river without being bothered by the traffic that rushes past a level below. For number two, take a walk down Wall Street and see how the 1% lives. You'll find the New York Stock Exchange housed in a beautiful neoclassical building, the gargantuan Federal Reserve Bank, Federal Hall where George Washington's inauguration as the first president of the United States occurred in 1789, and of course, the famous Charging Bull sculpture. The Statue of Liberty Enlightening the World was a gift of friendship from the people of France to the people of the United States and is a universal symbol of freedom and democracy. The boat ride alone is worth the price of admission. It offers up a spectacular 360-degree view of New York Harbor.